Welcome back, guys. Today we're looking at problem 185 from Leak Code, Department Top 3 Salaries. And this is considered a hard SQL interview question, so let's get right into it. So we have a table called employee, um, and obviously it has the employee properties. We have the ID, the name, the salary, and the department ID. Uh, ID is the primary key for this table, and each row contains the ID, name, salary, and department of one employee. Uh, then we have a department table uh, with an ID as well as a name. So I'm assuming we're going to have to uh, use this foreign key to join two departments. Uh, and again, for departments, the ID is the primary key, and each row contains these two properties. Uh, so let's get started with uh, with the question. So a company's executives are interested in seeing who earns the most money in each of the company's departments. So they're looking for high earners, and a high earner in a department is an employee who has a, a salary in the top three unique salaries for that department. Okay, that's very important to know. Top three unique salaries. So. Uh, let's say we have multiple employees with the same salaries. Uh, those would not just be counted at the top three. Th those would be one of the top three if, if that was the scenario. Um, so write a SQL query, and I'll take my notes here, uh, to find the employee, uh, find the employees who are high earners in each of the departments. Return the result table in any order. Uh, and the query, query result format is in the following example. So uh, it looks like these are the inputs that they're going to have. And this is what we need to return. So we need to return the department, uh, employee, and salary. And the department, they actually want the name and not the ID. And that's why we'll have to actually join to the department table so we can extract the name since we don't have that in the employee table. Um, and then it goes on to explain uh, why we get these results. So uh, so again, similar to what I mentioned, right? So they want um, the top three earning salary employees. So, you know, effectively top three unique salary employees. So in this case, we could see that Max has 90,000. Uh, both Joe and Randy have 85,000. And we're just looking at the IT, uh, IT department. Um, so both of these individuals have 85,000. And then Will has 70,000. So uh, notice that they outputted four employees and not three. And that's because of these four employees, they carry, you know, the top three salaries. This would be the top salary. Both of these would be the second highest salary because uh, 85,000, they both happen, happen to have the same number. And then Will has 70,000. So keep that in mind that, you know, you could have more than three records show up uh, if you have multiple salaries uh, that are the same. So with that being said, we can uh, get started. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, begin writing my query. So I'm going to pull the, let's see, department name, right? So d.name, uh, the employee.name, and the employee salary. And I'll just give these aliases based on uh, what they're looking to output. So department uh, employee and salary, right? Uh, and then we are pulling from the employee table, employee, and we actually want to use an inner join for this because based on the structure of the problem, they're interested in, you know, employees that belong to certain departments or departments associated with a certain salary. So in either case, uh, both you need to have an employee, you need to have a department. So without that, that's not going to solve the problem. So it has to be an inner join because both of these fields need to need to exist. So uh, join on the employees department ID to the, I believe it's just ID, yes, department.id. And now this, what this is gonna do is just gonna output, you know, 
all employees ever associated with whatever department that they uh, belong to, but we only want to see employees who belong in the top three unique salaries per department. So the way we could do this is since we have a list of all employees, their salaries and their departments, uh, we could use a rank function, right? So the highest salary would be something like one and then two and then three, or these could both be two and this could be three. And then as part of our filter, we could just say, uh, it, it just limit based, you know, just restrict the rows based on rank being equal to or less than three. Um, so we would use a rank function. Um, and we actually want to partition it as well because it's by department that they want uh, those results. So we're going to actually partition by the department ID. Uh, and then remember, since we're ranking this and the first rank would be the highest salary, it needs to be based off of the salary field in a descending fashion. So order by salary descending. And now that I think about this, we're actually going to want to use dense rank. And I'll actually do a bit of demonstration on the side so you can get a better understanding of why we have to use dense rank for this. Quick little crash course on the rank versus dense rank versus row number, guys. So I have the exact employees that you have uh, on that data set in lead code. So, uh, and these are the associated salaries. We're just looking at employees that belong to the IT department. So uh, if I was to use uh, the rank function, this is what would happen. So Max would be rank one. Joe and Randy would be both ranked two, which is completely fine for our use case. Uh, but then the problem is uh, Will would be ranked four because as a result of these two duplicates, it would skip over number three and jump straight to four. Uh, and that doesn't work because as part of you know what we're going to do, we're going to be using a filter and restricting our rank to be less than or equal to three or you know less than four. Uh, this might work if we do less than or equal to four, but that's only going to work in this particular use case. I mean, what happens uh, if these weren't the same exact salaries? Then it would pick up all four. So uh, there's just no workaround if, if we went the route of using rank. Okay. Uh, now let's say we use row number. Uh, what this does is it gives each record a unique number, irrespective of whether or not these values are the same. So Max is going to be number one. Joe is going to be number two. Randy is going to be number three, even though they both have uh, the same salaries. And the reason why is because row number, like I said, uh, it treats each row as a unique number. It's not going to give the same number to both. So that's when dense rank is really uh, the best example, to, uh, the best solution to use here. And the reason why, again, Max would be rank one, Joe and Randy would be both rank two, as we had in the rank function. Uh, but what's going to happen after that is it's not going to skip over the three and go straight to four. It's going to give the very next salary number three. And, and so in doing that, regardless of what happens in a different test case, uh, dense rank is always going to give you the top three salaries and then kind of return the associated employees, if you will. So that's why dense rank is the optimal uh, function to use here. So before we continue, guys, if you like what you see so far, if you've been enjoying this content and you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. I do appreciate it. Thank you. So this is going to be dense rank, and I will give this an alias of rank. And now that we have this, uh, it would be nice to just kind of you know, filter out based on, you know, be able to say where rank is you know, less than or equal to three. Uh, but because I am using MySQL, uh, I will have to put a wrapper around this whole item before, behind the, uh, around this query before I can actually use a filter on it. So I will actually use a common table expression and once I have that, I can then query my common table expression. So 
I'm going to select my department employee salary from my CTE and now I can say where my rank where my rank is less than or equal to three or you know I, I prefer to just do less than four makes no difference the same exact thing so let's go ahead and run this and hopefully everything looks good and that worked out perfectly so thank you guys so much for watching hope you found it helpful be sure to subscribe yeah.